Hello there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. We are late to the party. It's another double episode of The Bad Batch, episodes 10 and 11. Last episode, Asajj Ventress made herself known to The Bad Batch. Yep. And Omega, more than likely a Force user. She's a match. When it comes to whoever it is they're testing it against. Right, exactly. I mean, she has some sort of thing in her blood that, you know, is very positive for M-Count, and the Empire wants it. But let's see if they're going to get her, because we don't have that many episodes left. But uh, if you want to check out our full watch-alongs to any of our reactions to The Bad Batch, it will be available on our Patreon, as well as the member section on our YouTube channel. And if you've not subscribed, click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop episodes to The Bad Batch or anything on the channel like Invincible. Or X-Men 97 going through that too. But let's get into the first episode 10 of The Bad Batch Season 3 now. Now. Identity crisis! Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. (laughs) Millions of people suffer every year. And a little toy. So cute. <laughs> no, stay there. Hey, who threw that? Poor Caesar. We saw it. Sorry. So sorry. Oh, no. People say he's cursed. You know? Gifted. Shh, don't go saying things like that. That place kind of reminds me of Zepho and Jedi Fallen Order. There's a kid here you might be interested in. <laughs> no. Oh, we're back. Dentist. Oh, that slow violin. Yeah. So unsettling. With a proper clearance, I could be more useful. I believe I have earned it. Let's begin by bringing you up to speed on Project Necromancer. Now she's on the inside. Yeah. And bringing us on the inside, too. You will be given access to the vault. Show us. They are vital to this project. Are they all matches, too? Probably. These particular three were selected because of their high M count. Are they not adults that could serve this purpose? There are few adults left with such characteristics. Yeah, because you pretty much wiped them out. That, yeah. (laughs) They're unaware of why they're here. M count cannot be directly replicated from the source. The young clone's blood is the only binder that's proven to be compatible with their DNA to recreate their M count levels. Freaking music, man. It's great. Giving me Stranger Things vibes. This whole area is giving me Stranger Things vibes. It's like 11. Yeah, the rainbow room. Yeah. I like your glasses. Thank you. Limit your personal interactions with the specimens. Otherwise, you'll develop feelings. Ooh, planning an escape. (laughs) <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, ah! Cat babe. <laughs> of all people. Toro. Dang it. Yes. Coming right up, Mr. Bane. <laughs> Damn, you got your own tester and everything. That'll do. Shoot. No. Oh, it's just a baby. No, what about a toy? Oh, oh. with the little hand. I mean, it's very similar to what happened with Grogu, too. Trying to get their hands on Grogu, at least probably for the same reason. Yeah. My name's Eva. What's yours? Eva. (laughs) What happened to Mistress Malise? She said she'd find out for me. Find out what? Then I'll be going home. No. I will look into it. I don't like any Thank of this. Dr. Carr. Come on, Dr. Carr, have a heart. Got the tablet. No! They said I could go 
home. I just want to go home. Set is done. Oh no, he's just a child. Don't. Now this is going to change her. He's only a child. A specimen attempted to escape. Help them. Ugh. Poked and prodded. Yeah. He's not going to be in trouble, is he? No. I have questions regarding your work on Project Necromancer. What will you do, Emery? I don't have that kind of power. Mm. Don't you? <laughs> you got the tablet. <laughs> what do you do, Emery? She's torn. Ah. Dr. Carr, a word? Play cool. Commander Scorch is departing <sighs> shortly to retrieve it. He said Commander Scorch. I would like to ensure that they are properly maintained at every stage. Governor Tarkin requests you contact him at once. <laughs> Do as you wish, Dr. Carr. They name dropping everywhere. I know, yeah. <laughs> Scorch, Tarkin. Yeah. Are we going to get C. Tarkin? I thought it was an off-camera thing. Governor Tarkin. Questions have been raised regarding the financial impact your facility is having upon Imperial resources. It is for a project that is of personal interest to the Emperor. Perhaps there is some assistance I may provide, seeing this is of such importance. If this project fails to yield proper results, it won't bode well for your operation. Or for you, Doctor. Damn. So not quite a free meal ticket. Nope. Like you still got a... Answer to Tarkin scrutiny. What are you doing? Turn him into soldiers? She gave up the name of a pirate. Has been in contact with the target. No. No more mistakes. Do not return without Omega. God dang. <laughs> Way above Coruscant. <laughs> I'm here to inspect the specimen. <laughs> How many others like this have you captured? Let's just say I'm good at my job. Until next time. <laughs> Ma'am. I don't like this. I don't like it either. <laughs> I'm so bad cry. for them. <laughs> it's just a baby. Where is SP-32? Isolated for two rotations. Solitary confinement. Yeah. Getting the cold shoulder. You lied. You said Jax wouldn't be in trouble. He just wanted to go home. We all want to go home. They gotta get in there and bust them all out. I oh, know. Like, Where is that terrible. bad batch? Come on. <laughs> Aww. Okay. A little peace offering. Yeah. Brings a little bit of comfort. Yeah. All right, Emery. <laughs> you got to do your part now. <laughs> Top notch music. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Again. <laughs> Again. From the Kinder Collective. Dang. I feel like they stepped it up like every season. Every, every episode, it feels every like. Every episode, too. Yeah. So episode 10 got us acquainted to what was inside the vault, and yeah. it's heartbreaking. It is very heartbreaking. Poor kids. And yeah. yeah, there's probably been a lot more before them, and unless Emery and the Bad Batch step up to help, there's going to be a lot more after them, too. Right. And uh, even more so, though, too, like there's so many, uh, one, when it came to like the Inquisitors, when they were going after Force sensitive children in that way. They're taking force sensitive uh, children here as well that have like a high M count um, for Project Necromancer. Like it's just all around a bad time for them. <laughs> Definitely for all force users for sure. All high midichlorian users. Uh, but yeah, that's it, Emery. Like you've obviously seen Emery become compassionate you saw that with omega now spilling over to these kids that they've let her yeah. in uh and she's got to help out maybe somehow figure out a way to contact the bad batch or at least open the back door so that they can come and swoop in and help save them but we're going to move on to episode 11 now <laughs> i 
point of no return. Oh, no, the point of no return. Be careful. Yeah, they're coming after you. Yep. The next time I give you an order to scour through the green goo, you scour through the green goo. <laughs> I'd repair you like I did that time on Andro Prime. And scar and all. <laughs> We've gone oh, through a lot of lives. Dang. Y'all so frivolous with your ships when you dock them. Ah, I'm gonna track them down. Figure out where the bad batch is. You're grouchy when you're not fully charged. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Everybody's grouchy when they're not fully charged. Here, hear that. Very stealthy. I trapped the pirate and access to a navy computer. She frequented a planet in the outer rim. Send the coordinates. I'll have a full division on standby if you acquire a visual on the target. Like Asajj Ventress said, like if it was easy for her to find them. Yeah. You guys leaving? Get out of Dodge! That's gonna be all of it, right? <laughs> Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl, Batcha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sure you want to leave these mm. behind? Pabu was the first place that felt like a home. A piece of us is still here. You will come back, right? I hope so. Oh, it's the Omega theme. <laughs> yeah. Get the hell out of here. I know. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Got that cave, man. It's just a hiding spot for all nefarious beings. Yeah. What is it? Not yeah, you sense sure. it. Parkour. <laughs> no. Got her. But you're all welcome here anytime. Thanks for everything, Chip. Of course, so nobody gets hurt. <laughs> Shoot. Those explosions, trackers. Shit. Get out of there! Get out of there! Shit. No. You're stranded. You're all right. Rika. You're okay, Riker. Come on. Ships don't just blow up. They've been compromised. Damn it! Ah. Damn it! <laughs> what do we do? Batcher, you go find a safe space. Yeah, go hide. No. <laughs> Brought trouble. Yeah. Damn, no escape. They're destroying all means of escape and jamming our comms. Take one of their ships. We have to steal one of their gunships. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Until she's turned over to me, your island will burn. Shit. <laughs> Gotta give them up. What are you gonna do? <sighs> no! No, 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 no! 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 My blood pressure just rised. But <sighs> you can't just Where is your identification? Kind of sounds like Kylo Ren's theme a little. I know a little bit. <laughs> it's never ending. They just keep coming. Yeah, there's so many of them. Oof. Ah. Damn. That is basically me during games when I get caught. I'm like, you know what? Guns are blazing. Let's go. <laughs> they already spot me, so. <laughs> Later. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Shit, shit. Good. All right. He's fine. Just keep swimming. Our only choice is to let them capture me. What? I can't let the people here suffer more because of me. So selfless. You can track me to Tantus. There you go. This is our chance. They'll search you and find it. 
It won't work. Well then shoot a secondary tracker onto the ship that they take me away on. Omega. Focus on the bigger mission, Crosshair. Aw, she's so like... <laughs> Listen to your big sister. For the good of the <laughs> fight. Yeah. No! Don't torch it. Stop. Nice. Take me and leave the island alone. Fine. You want to scan the rest of her? Please don't do the whole thing where it's like, we got you, but we're going to burn them anyways. It feels <laughs> like it's their style. <laughs> You're harboring a fugitive. Thatcher? Hey, girl. Okay. You okay, Batcher? Your ship is gone. That was an awesome shot. <laughs> yeah. It's always the red lighting. <laughs> they get to a vantage point. Damn it! Shit, shit, damn, shit, it. Shit, damn, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! No! Nice. The clock's a ticket. Come on, you gotta do it! You gotta do it! You gotta do it! Oh, no! no! What do we do? Please tell me she had a secondary tracker on that they didn't check. What are you going to do? But she was getting her force powers ready. <laughs> <laughs> they got her again. They got her. Yeah, but we've got Emery and her hopefully figure something out with those other force users or at least the other midichlorian, high midichlorian count subjects. So that double episode did not feel as connected as some of the other two-parters, but still leaving us on a cliffhanger. And it feels like we're right back where we started. <laughs> yeah. Omega is now going to be a prisoner of Tantus and the Bad Batch are going to have no clue where she is. Nope. But, uh, you know, I'm sure they'll find a way and that they're going to have to call on everybody that they've, you know, worked with before. Maybe Rex can come back and help them bring Echo back and help them. Yeah. All that stuff. Uh, and uh, maybe they did find it. They're like, oh, yeah, they were able to get the coordinates for it. And they said, we know where they are. So with Emery, <sighs> too, on the inside, that first episode showed us Emery is going to be. You know, the deciding factor, too. It's much different this time around, especially if she wants to help them with, uh, you know, Omega there by her side. That's yeah. going to push her even more in the right direction. So maybe they can get a signal out to them to say, this is where we are, send the Calvary. But either way, man, this episode was very stressful. Yes. The fact that we very. lost our ship, the entire city was getting burned or at least the docks were burned, but they were about to fire upon the entire city. Yeah. Uh, had they not gotten Omega back, it's just it's brutal, man. We knew we knew trouble would come for the Bad Batch, but yeah. man, it feels like it's so early, even though we only have like a handful of episodes right. left until it's all said and done. But yeah. I don't want it to end, but everything no. must come to an end. But what did you think of this double episode of The Bad Batch? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking. Jin joins you know where they are. Kick into the party. Feel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon, as well as the member section on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much. And as always. Now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.